Okay, in this video, uh, I want to walk you through uh, how to add a new document into your DocHub account where you want to get someone to sign the document. So what you're going to do is from your, this is your home page once you're logged into it, um, click on add new here, this plus sign, and then uh, you can import a new document, but it's a little bit easier workflow if you just click on new sign request. Then you're going to upload the file either from your computer, your Dropbox account, or Google Drive, and maybe they'll add more later but anyways I'll go to Google Drive which is where I have this demo agreement that I want to use for this demo and it's uploading the file and then once you get to here you're gonna th this seems a little a little clunky a little weird but you're gonna click on create document here once it's uploaded it and then it's gonna immediately ask you to put in the email address of anyone that you want to have signed the document so in this case I'm just gonna put in one of my other one of my email addresses and click on add and then I'm going to click on and, and I can I can edit the subject line here I can edit the uh, text of the email that it's going to send and then I can click on manage people and friends which is where the real magic happens so um, if if there's two or three people that need to sign this document you're going to go ahead and add in all their email addresses click add and um, and then you have these people listed here and then uh, once you're in your document, you're going to scroll down to wherever you want them to either enter in some data or uh, sign the document, and you're going to use these fields over here to add in the field. So I'm going to add a, a text field for my signer name. Put that right there, and if I mouse over this thing, I can drag this and make it whatever size that I want. Then over here on the right, you can see some um, fields here. Th these are this is where you configure the attributes of this particular field, and so I'm going to call this name. I could call it signer name if I wanted to, that's either way. If I wanna make it a bigger deal where they can put in multiple lines, I can use the multi-line deal, but I'll just leave that single. And I can denote that this is a required field and then I can choose the person. Um, and if it doesn't matter who fills it in, then I guess you just leave it as not assigned. But if you want a specific person to fill in this field, then you would go ahead and assign it to that particular role. And you can see right here it has PA and it says Patrick at churchbuzz.org required. So that's who's gonna fill in the, that field. And then for signature, I'm gonna put that right here. And again, I can specify uh, who needs to sign it and if it's required. And then the date is kind of cool. I can put the date in here and it's an automatic date. Uh, we can set the format that we want and we can also set the role if we want. Um, I don't think you have to do that because it's gonna be automatic anyways, but we'll just go ahead and do that. I guess, uh, I guess that's gonna fill in the date whenever this particular user fills it in. Maybe if you don't want the date filled in until another user fill, um, signs a document, then uh, you would assign it to that specific person. And uh, that's all you have to do. Now, um, this was the tricky part, and now I'm... What do I do next? Oh yeah, okay. so. Um, now this is the tricky part because there's nothing obvious in here telling you what to do next. There's no next button or submit or save or anything. So you have to go up here to the menu and say email it as sign request and it brings this dialog back up here and then you can send the request and that's all you have to do. Um, so it'll send that off and then I have another video that shows um, how to sign the document uh, that you can send to that person and they'll know how to sign the documents and then it automatically gets sent to you and everything is good. All right. Thanks a lot.